and stop the bleeding. It is the patient. BP is stabilizing. 90 over 60. Nice work, Dr. Nana. Excuse me, are you Isa family? Uh, yes, I just found out that my daughter had an accident. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. By the way, I'm Dr. Nana and she's Dr. Kisha. Uh, I'm Juliet, her mother. <coughs> so, Hema was compensated and her leg doesn't get enough yet. Is there any <coughs> chance for you guys to save her leg? Mm, Isa suffered a bone fragmentation and we really can fix it and the only choice is amplitude. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry about her, but there is only two choice, either imputation or death. Hmm, it's impossible. The bone damage is too severe. Hmm, there is no other option. Hmm, but what if we could replace the entire camera? Hmm, nice idea. I will manage the meeting our with our biomedical engineer. Elizabeth, welcome to London Chakra Hospital. Okay. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm Dr. Kisha. Hi, I'm, I'm the one who called you yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I have already read the report of the patient. Mm -hmm. And I don't survey last night. I think we should use the ceramic scaffold to replace the damage bone. Mm, can you explain the characteristic of ceramic scaffold that uh, that leads you to prefer us to replace with that one? Sure. Firstly, scaffold mm -hmm. are defined as 3D or solid biomaterials. Mm -hmm. Ceramic used in fabricating implants can be classified as non absorbable and biodegradable. Mm -hmm. So, basically, the optimal characteristics such as their strength, mm -hmm. rate of degradation, mm -hmm. porosity, the microstructure, mm -hmm. as well as their shapes and size. Are more readily mm -hmm. and controlled in polymeric scaffold. Wow, sounds good. As I stated here, ceramic iron coating has good compatibility, corrosion resistant, and high corrosion resistant. But how do we need to stick here? It's a bit brittle, no fracture strength, and high density. But it's better than other synthetic polymers. Mm, so, what the advantages by using this material? Hmm, good question, Dr. Nana. I have been waiting for that one. Okay, since there are a lot of type of scaffold. So, this one can maintenance of strength and the stability of the interface during the degradation period and replacement by the natural host. HA or HAP composite scaffold has excellent biocompatibility with hard tissue and high osteoconductivity and bioactivity. It's designed to perform like promote cell biomedic, biomaterial interactions, cell adhesion, and ECM deposition. Secondly, permit sufficient transport of gases and nutrients. Thirdly, biodegrade at a controllable rate. It supported uniform cell CD, cell in group, and tissue formation. Lastly, it also meets with the natural can you briefly explain the method and process? Step 1. 3D stereolithography printing is well suited to generate complex shape porous ceramic matrices directly from powder materials. Step 2. Anatomical information obtained from a patient can be used to design the implant for a target defect. Step 3. In the 3D printing technique, a box filled with ceramic powder is printed with a polymer-based binder solution layer by layer. Powder is bonded in wet region. Unglue powder can be removed and a ceramic green body remains. Step 4. The printed ceramic green bodies are consolidated at a temperature of 1250 degrees Celsius 
in a high temperature furnace in mixture air. The polymeric binder is paralyzed during sintering. For step 5, there is no diagram, so we will tell you the result of scaffold can be used in tissue engineering of bone implants using patient-derived cells that are seeded into the scaffolds. Step 6. The specimens of the sintered scaffold were characterized by X-ray diffraction XRD, to identify crystal faces present. The scaffold morphology were examined by scanning electron microscopy. Wow, the polymer sounds good. Um, we can proceed to the operation, shall we, Dr. Uh, sure, I will manage the surgery scale to the next. We are making it out of the polymer synthetic. So Isa will be able to walk and run or climb and swim. Basically, in medical terms, the fake bone is called ceramic scaffold. It's able to repair damage or disease tissue and typically it's done by regenerating the tissue. Yeah, the scaffold provides the structure and mechanical support as well as the surface for cell growth. Its present allows cells to generate the biological structural component of the extracellular matrix is ECM in culture condition. In short, that's the best polymer synthetic mm -hmm. to replace the damaged femur medium. Oh god, good to hear that. Thank you so much, Doctor. I really hope that operation will go well.